Welcome to another behind the scenes video where I talk about how I make my music and this time it's about uh, some desert music, a desert theme for my Minecraft Let's Play series All I Never Did and I have called it Sizzling Sand <laughs> which if you google that name all you get is a lot of uh, links to nail polish. <laughs> but I still think it's a good name. So we are here in uh, Logic Pro X or Logic Pro 10. And I've used sounds from East West's Silk library, which is uh, the best they have done, I have found so far. Uh, really great library. And also some uh, loops that are uh, stock loops in Logic. These are also great sounding. So I started off by trying to limit myself to some sounds, some instruments, or a particular style of music, a particular genre. And before I do that, I have trouble <laughs> starting to write the actual music, I realized I need these limitations to be creative. But once I get those into place, uh, the juices are starting to flow, and then I can be a little less strict about the limitations if I want to, um, because then I have already gotten started, so I can add or retract or change my mind a little. And before I got to those limitations this time, I researched some uh, music and I started off by um, thinking about which games I have played that has kind of uh, desert level music in them. And uh, the Super Mario franchise came to mind first. We have, for instance, um, the Super Mario 64. Um, shifting Sand uh, level music, I think it's called, if you recognize this. Beautiful melody, but that was a little too Indian sounding for me. And by that I mean music from India not uh, Native American music. <laughs> it has kind of a bass drone sounding and uh, sitar and uh, tablas playing. But what I like about that music is that it is almost kind of uh, roboto sounding, as if it has no tempo. But still the percussion is playing and uh, you know all the instruments are playing but kind of separately in their own time signature, if you know what I mean. I also transcribed the music for Super Mario Bros. for Wii. It's the same music in Wii U, I think, uh, this one. which is also a great song, but maybe a little too catchy. And it's um, it has mixed in some pop uh, music in there. So I wanted something more North African, Middle Eastern sounding, uh, you know, Sahara music. And if you listen to Bedouin music, music from you know, that are performed in the desert itself. It's often very few instruments. It's maybe just uh, one person singing and you have a string instrument or, you know, someone is clapping their hands and the rest are singing. And also I have some real life experiences. One of my early powerful concert music experience was with uh, a group of Genawa musicians. Genawa music is 
kind of uh, religious uh, trance music from uh, Morocco, I think. This was a long time ago. But you had uh, the master playing a string instrument and uh, uh, occasionally singing. And then two younger apprentices by his side, either clapping their hands or playing which I think is actually these uh, zil, fingers zil instruments. And I've tried one of these out in real life, and man, those swing so hard if you play them right. I also play myself in an orchestra. I play the trombone in a world music band called Golbang, where the core music is from Iran and especially from the Baluchi people and this music is then uh, mixed with the Swedish folk music and uh, rhythms from Latin America. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that orchestra out. So those were my inspirations and that is why um, I have limited myself to, to, you can say, four musicians. You have the string instrument here, the tar, the duduk, <laughs> a wind instrument, and then uh, darbuka, this track and this track, and then this finger sills. Uh, these three represent one musician and these two another musician. This track, I think, is empty. Let's delete that one. <laughs> and then, to limit myself even more, I decided on a particular scale that uh, I could use. And I ended up using only notes from that uh, scale, actually. So, if we have a regular C major scale here, And then what they did in the Super Mario franchise is that they lowered the second step and the seventh step. Then you get a sound like this. So that gives this, uh, you know, oriental feeling when you have um, half steps and then a bigger gap between the notes here. But I wanted something even more <laughs> kind of Middle Eastern sounding. So I took one of the scales we use in Golbang. This scale is called Salat by the Baluchi people and you lower the second step again, but then you keep this, the seventh step uh, natural and instead lower the sixth step in the scale. And it sounds like this. And this is very interesting because you get three half steps in a row. And it's really fun to, to work with. In my piece, the root is centered through G instead, and every melody is uh, from these notes. So, it, for instance, the first part of the theme sounds like this. And then I kind of switch between the calmer parts uh, that is played by the duduk and the parts with a little more action played by the string instrument, the tar. And together with the string instrument the percussion also 
gets a little more intense. So for instance, uh, let's see here. This is music that will just loop and um, I don't write it specifically to the picture. But I think it's always uh, fun to, at least the first time you hear the music, get it just a little bit in sync with uh, the picture. So here, for instance, I'm down in a desert temple and below this plate are TNT. So if you make a mistake here, everything will blow up. So I was kind of nervous. Uh, it sounds like this. I mean, it's not horror music or anything, but uh, <laughs> ah, I just think it's uh, it's funny. Maybe I can show you just a little bit of this uh, silk library, because I really like it. Uh, if you go into the interface here, um, these notes here on the keyboard, they are changing how the musician is playing the notes. It makes it more realistic, more human, you know. So if we have this pressed first, and then I play a few notes. And then we change it to the next one. More vibrato. Next. We have a straight note first and then vibrate at the end. Softer and with a little drill there. So I use these quite a lot actually to make uh, the instrument feel more alive. So I think that's it. We could uh, just finish up by uh, listening to the piece, if you want to. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video and uh, I'll see you next time.